Hey everyone, Adrian here and in today's video I want to talk to you about the notion that you are who Google says you are. Now let me explain. As a business coach, as a social media guy, I encourage all of my clients and students to go ahead and increase their digital footprint. So the reason why I say this is because even though we are caught up in this social media world, even though that we're caught up in our day-to-day -day lives in terms of, you know, we're always on Facebook, we're always on Instagram, and, we, and that's sort of our tunnel vision. What you need to know is that Google is still the number one search engine on the planet. So the common punter in terms of you know, your customer, when they're searching for your business or they're searching for you in particular and they're trying to do some research around who you are, what you do and whether they, can, they want to do business with you, they're Googling you. So what are they finding? Because just like a recommendation from a friend, they would, uh, a common person would say, you know, I trust recommendations. Well, here's the thing. The Google, what Google says about you is, is trustworthy as just as much as a friend recommending your business. So what is on the internet is true, right? So if it's true for them and their perception is reality, then what is Google saying about you? Go ahead and Google yourself and find this out. There are 10 rankings or 10 listings that you would occupy on the first page of Google when someone's typing in your business name or your personal name, okay? So if you are ranking in less than say five or occupying five of those spots or less, then this is not good and you need to do something about it straight away because when your customers are going to Google you and they're not finding references to your social media, to your website, to, uh, a, a, for example, a Google business page, if they're not seeing reviews, if it's not like ranked highly that way, then, and your competitor is, they're gonna go to your competitor, okay? So, the thing that you want to do now is go ahead and Google yourself and find out exactly where, how many spaces you occupy on that first page of Google. If it's under five, you've got work to do. If it's over six or seven, you're doing okay. You really want to be somewhere around seven and above, okay? And the way that you do this is by going ahead and optimizing each one of the platforms that you operate on and making sure that they're currently up to date, making sure that you are currently, you're always um, like updating those platforms. So updating your website, updating YouTube, updating LinkedIn, updating Facebook, updating Instagram, because your know, algorithms work in such a way that if there's no activity and there's no relevant content there, then it's gonna fall down the abyss in, as far as Google's are concerned, okay? So I'm giving you a very layman's term around this. So if you go ahead and figure out strategies on how to optimize each one of those accounts, to optimize your, your website and things like that, and then we're not gonna get into traffic and all that kind of stuff now, but for the sake of this video, if you go ahead and do that, your digital media footprint will grow and expand. And when someone's searching for you, if they meet you at a networking event, if they bump into you, if they uh, see you online, if they wanna research further into you and they happen to go and Google your information about you and your company and your business and what it is you do, and you have nothing there to support that you're actually uh, you know, credible, then you are gonna to lose tons of business, okay? Go ahead and fix all that right this minute because it'll have an instant effect on the way that you are perceived online. I hope this has helped you and served you in some way. And if you'd like to know any more, please don't hesitate to comment below. Until the next video, I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.